Yo, what's good, YouTube? What's good? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling, man? Hood Center back in the motherfucking building. Listen, man. Listen, listen, listen. Y'all know what I'm finna be talking about, man. Today I'm finna be talking about Tinder and how to get more matches. Now, before we get into this joke, let me just say, I do not, I do not recommend or advise y'all to use Tinder. Honestly, my personal belief, I believe dating apps are some bullshit. I believe it's a bunch of mid women on there. And just overall, as a dude, unless you're like a 10 out... And even... Nah, nah, fuck that. Even if you were 10 out of 10, dating apps are a waste of time, bro. Because it's... The, the quality of women on these dating apps are... Eh, but whatever. If y'all want to use Tinder and y'all want to use all these dating apps, I'm going to get y'all the sauce. I'm going to tell y'all how to get more matches, all right? That's what I'm going to be talking about today in this video, man. How to get more matches. So check me out. <laughs> So, let me just tell y'all boys, man, I've been using Tinder and I've been using all these dating apps before they were even popping, okay? Let me let me just put that out there, all right? I've been using Tinder, BL, actually, uh, did I use BLK? Yeah, I've been using Tinder, BLK, Bumble before they were even popping. I started using them in high school. My man's put me on, he was like, yo, you got to start using these dating apps, bro. These, these hoes are on go. And back then, it was way easier. Like, back then, Jones were on. Like, I ain't going to lie. I probably got most of my bodies when I was younger. Like, when I was younger, when I on these dating apps, I, I mean, it was just, it was too easy, bro. You could you could hit a, it, it, it was literally fishing. It was like fishing in a barrel, bro. That shit was too easy. Now... You know, girls are kind of different now it's with, you know, with the, the rise of internet, internet dating, you know, 2023, the landscape is different. But back then when I was in high school, bro, it was too fucking easy. I ain't going to lie. But yeah, I just want to let y'all know. So I, I have experience. Okay. I've been using dating apps before they was even popping. You know what I mean? Before everybody was on it. Because I truly think dating apps started to really pop off and become mainstream and become like, quote unquote, acceptable around like. 2020 around like the pandemic because like before then it was like a lot of taboo around dating apps like people really weren't using that like and if they were they didn't admit to it now it's kind of like socially acceptable but yeah man i've been using dating apps before yeah but so just saying that man over the over the over the um you know over the years man i learned so much i, I learned how to master you know how to use dating apps and how to get more dates and how to get more matches and so on and so forth so let me just say this Number one, it depends where you live, bro. If you live in the middle of fucking nowhere, it don't matter how good you look. You're going to get a bunch of ugly bitches and you barely going to get matches. Like, that's just straight up. So you need to be in an area where um, it's, it's a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? So if you're in the middle of fucking nowhere and you put your, you put your location shit to like under 25 miles, you're not going to match with nobody, bro, because there's nobody fucking there. So obviously... The bigger city you live in, the more people that are around you, the more matches you're going to have. You know what I'm saying? So if you live in like the county, like I live in the county, I don't live in like, a, I don't live in the um, downtown area or like the city. I live in the county. So when I put my um, location to like 50 or, you know, at least above 25, you'll, you'll start to, you'll start to get way more matches, bro. So location, location, location. That's number one. You need to be in a location where is is heavily populated you know what i'm saying so i'm not saying to move you got to change locations and move but i'm just saying don't expect to have a bunch of matches if you live in the middle of fucking bumblefuck you know what i mean you got to live in a populated area you know what i'm saying so yeah that's number one location 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 it all depends where you live if you live in a major city or a downtown area you're going to get way more matches that's just that's just come on bro that's just common sense versus if you live in a more rural, rural area not so much. You'll still get them, but it's like, oh, you're going to see that all your matches are going to be like 100 miles away, 50 some miles away. Like your matches are going to be mad far. So yeah, that's, that's just one thing to take into account. The next thing, and this is really the most important thing, but I'm going to keep it a buck with y'all. This is the most important thing when it comes to these dating apps. Pictures, 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 bro. How you look and the way you take your pictures is literally the most important thing. I ain't even going to lie. Like, if you don't take anything else from this video, this is the most important thing out this whole goddamn video. Your pictures, bro. And the thing is, bro, the crazy thing is, a lot of y'all dudes are not ugly. A lot of y'all dudes actually, like, like, have you ever heard a girl tell you, like, 
He takes bad pictures, but he looks way better in person. Have you ever been told that you look better in person? It's because you take shitty pictures. Y'all got to start taking better pictures. So one, you need to work on yourself and looks max and try to become the most attractive that you can. But then also you need to take good pictures. Okay. In 2023, dating has moved to uh, dating apps and Instagram and online. You know what I'm saying? The dating scene has moved to online. You know what I'm saying? So a lot of people are meeting online now. And if you want to dominate the dating game, you have to take good pictures. So this is what I suggest. You could have somebody take your pictures. I wouldn't recommend that because it's like if you want to get really good pictures, it's going to take time. And it's like nobody's going to feel like taking your picture for like hours. So what I, what I do, I would suggest getting a, um, a tripod and then putting your phone on a tripod and getting that app. It's an app that takes pictures and you can put it on different settings. You can have it take 20 pictures in three seconds. You can put it to the, like the, the photo time of like 10 seconds and it'll take 10 pictures or 20 or 30. You can change whatever settings you want. So get a tripod that like stands up, put it on a chair or something or put it on something that's like that. It's like your height, set the tripod up and then um, turn on the app. That's like the automatic picture thing. Press that button and then just pose and just take a bunch of pictures, man. I've done this shit and I've had like 300, 400 pictures and then I just delete them and then find the best ones. I'm telling you, man, listen, I know it seems like a lot. I know it's like, damn, bro, what you a female? But, bro, this shit, this shit really, it, it gets real critical, bro. Check my Instagram. Check out my pictures. Those pictures didn't just come out right off the bat. Like, bro, they took, like, if you, if y'all go on my bio, go on my Instagram, check out the way I take my pictures, bro. Check out the lighting, the hype, the, the amount of likes, the amount of females that's in my likes. Check them out, bro. I mean, it's not a lot. I sound like I got thousands of likes, but... Bro, just, just check out what I'm saying, bro. You're going to see that this didn't just come overnight. This didn't just take five. I didn't like, I didn't just take five pictures and then just pick the best ones. No, bro. I've had to take an, I've had to take like 300, 400 pictures with, with the method I just described, you know, using the tripod and then using the, the app that, that takes pictures every three seconds, ten, whatever you want. I've had to do that and then delete, go through all those different pictures and pick out the best ones. And that's not even to man. I didn't even get into the lighting. That's also important. You need good lighting. So you know how you you take a picture and you look ugly as shit, but then in the mirror you look good as shit, bro. It, it all comes down to the lighting, bro. You have to get good lighting. So when you take these pictures, you wanna um, you wanna make sure you're in good lighting. Um, if you're somewhere with the light, like you can't like control the lighting, I would get like the little light that clips onto your phone. And then put that on your phone when you're taking the automatic pictures. And then you're straight. You're good to go. So listen, if you want to do the method I just described, you got to get a tripod with the legs on that can stand up. Put it, on a, put it on a chair or something, whatever. Just have it be so it's like your height. So you don't, you don't want to look short. So have the tripod, you know, your height. Like, like your phone. Like when you put your phone on the tripod, it should be your height when it takes the picture. Take the picture. Also, if, if you need to, you might need to get a little light. Like the little, uh, it's like you can get them off Amazon for like $10, bro. The little light that clips onto your phone. And then you have a little photo shoot. Take a bunch of pictures, bro. And use the app that I just said. Or you could hire a professional. But it's like, I mean, you could do that. Personally, I don't, I'm like, I'm not, I don't need to pay a nigga to do that when I can take my own pictures. But you could also have somebody take your pictures. I mean, you know, it's worth it. Trust me, it's worth it. You pay for a $100 photo shoot. I, I don't know what the going rate is. But $100, maybe a couple hundred if it's really good. But I, I see like maybe like a hundred or something on the low end. Pay for somebody to take your pictures. Like these are professional. He has like he has like a high quality camera. Pay for it, bro. It's worth it. But listen, use though either of those two methods. Get the tripod and use your own phone, or get somebody to pay a professional to take your pictures. It's worth it. You need to have professional photos, or at least good looking photos, good lighting, all that. You need to look attractive. When you look in the mirror and you like, damn, I look good. But then in photos, you like, damn, I'm ugly as shit. You need to take better photos. That's what it comes down to. You need to take better photos. And I, it's going to be tough at first, bro, because trust me, I got photos, man. I was looking crusty, dusty, all types of ugly. Like I used to, I couldn't take photos for shit. Now I'm getting better. The more you do it, the better you get at it, man. I've been doing this shit for years, man. But yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the main thing about this video, man. You need to take better pictures if you want more matches on these dating apps, because that's the first thing that they see. And the other thing is, when you have your pictures, 
You want to put the most attractive one first. You don't want to put the ugly one. You don't want to put... That's another thing. Y'all be putting dumb shit. Like, don't... Bro, don't be putting dumb shit on your Tinder. Don't be putting you with a fish or you with a fucking... Uh, the head of a deer. Bitches don't like that shit, bro. Don't be doing no weird shit. Just t take regular pictures when you looking attractive. I would stay away from the shirtless mirror pictures. I mean, unless you just really chipped up. But it, but if you really chipped up, I would take professional photos and like get you like, like I would take a professional photo over like a, a selfie shirtless pic that comes off kind of douchey. I wouldn't, I would stay away from that. Um, you can do selfie pictures, but I would limit it to like one or two. I wouldn't do too many selfies. You looking kind of, you know what I mean? A little sweet, but, um, yeah, man. So when you, when you do your photos, you want the most attractive photo that you believe. Yeah, I look good as shit in this one. You want that as your main one. And I would just do it from, I would do it from most attractive to least attractive. I will put my most attractive picture as number one, the first picture. And then I would just keep going down the list of the ones that I keep, that I find the most attractive. And again, like I said, stay away from the weird shit. Bitches are not going to swipe right on you if you got some dumb shit. Like, bitches will really swipe left on the stupidest shit. So don't give them a reason. Do not give these women a reason to swipe left on you. Don't be holding on animals or don't be having a bunch of your friends in a... Like, no, just have you in the picture, bro. Like, come on. Another thing. Um, fuck, I goddamn forgot what else I was going to say. It was another important point. Um, oh, when it comes to bio... My boys, my boys, my boys, do not, do not, do not. Listen, Tinder, Tinder thinks they slick or all these, whatever dating app you're using, do not fill out the fucking preference thing. So when they ask, what are you looking for? A friends with benefits, a relationship, do not fill that shit out. Leave that shit blank because when some, some bitches will see that shit and they will disqualify you just off that. So if you're actually looking for a friends with benefits or a little one night stand, do not put that shit in your bio. Do not put that shit anywhere in your shit. Leave that shit blank. Honestly, I wouldn't even say looking for a relationship because bitches like you looking for a relationship. It comes off kind of beta. I would just leave it blank. When it asks like the zodiac sign or the what's your political view or what's your like, leave all that shit blank, bro. Like any, do not give these women. A reason to disqualify you. Leave all of that stuff blank. Don't answer it. You know what I mean? Like, don't even, don't even answer that shit. Um, I'm trying to think. What what other questions they be asking? They be asking like political, uh, you know, your political views. Um, what else they be asking? Oh, whether you smoke or drink. I wouldn't answer that either. Honestly, I leave that blank. Um, the ones that are positive, I would answer. So like when they ask you, uh. Do you work out? I work out a lot. So yeah, I check often. Um, are you, what else? Are they, yeah, any, anything that's positive, answer that for sure. But only answer the questions that make you look good. Don't answer shit that makes you look bad. If you smoke weed a lot of time, don't check weed. Don't check, yeah, I get drunk often. Yeah, I smoke weed often. Yeah, I'm a, uh, I'm, I'm a libertarian. Yeah, I'm a Democrat. Yeah, I'm a Republican. Don't put any of that shit. Don't put none of that. Yeah, I'm a Republican. Yeah, I voted for... Don't... Stay away from that shit. Stay away from politics. Stay away from your viewpoints on shit. Just stay away from that shit. Um, what else, man? Your height. If you're short, don't even put your height. Don't even worry about it. If you're tall, put your height. Only put shit that makes you look good. Don't put shit that makes you look bad, bro. Like, I, it's crazy I even got to say this, but some of y'all just don't get it. What's another thing? Um, your bio. I mean, that's kind of up to you. You could, I mean, honestly, I just put like, like some, I might just put like my IG in there so they can see my IG. Like if you have a good IG with pictures, tag your IG, put your IG in the bio. Um, you could say something, You, I mean, you could say something quick, but I wouldn't have a whole paragraph bio. Like you look feminine as shit. That's what bitches do. Don't, don't fill your whole bio up with like have a goddamn story. Like nobody gives a shit. If you want to put something in your bio, cool. Personally, I just put my Instagram, but if you want to add some shit or if you want to add something like, uh, I dare you to message me first or I, uh, uh, and I don't know, man, or uh, I like, I don't know, whatever. You can put anything you want, but I would just make it short and sweet. I would not put a whole goddamn paragraph. Don't do that shit. Um, yeah, I man, I think after that, honestly, I think you're good. Um, so like, you know, we went over location. You want to make sure you're in a, in a, uh, heavily populated area. 
Um, if you're not, you're going to have to increase your uh, di your uh, distance thing so to like looking for people uh, who are over 25 miles or whatever. Uh, then we talked about pictures. You, you need to make sure that your pictures are looking right. You're looking attractive. Um, nothing crazy. No, no disqualifiers in your pictures, like group photos. Like, don't do that shit. Um, and shirtless mirror pictures. Don't do that shit. Um, and yeah, man, don't put anything dumb in your bio. That's going to disqualify you. Don't, I wouldn't even fill out any of them questions, honestly. Only the ones that make you look good. Um, when I ask you job, that's, you know what? That's a good one. When I ask you like, uh, what do you do for work? If you have a good job, put that shit. Put that shit. Honestly, if you don't have a good job, cap. Cap. You know what I'm saying? Fuck it. Cap. Just say, you. honestly, bro, when I wasn't working, I just capped. And now I am working, but I just said, um, I, I, I just said, I don't even know what I said, but I made up some shit. Cap. If, you know what I'm saying? Cap. You know what I mean? Now, if you're a shorter dude, I wouldn't cap about your height because that shit can quickly... If you plan on meeting these bitches in person... I wouldn't cap. Now, if you don't, if you don't plan on meeting these women in person, then by all means, I guess you can cap. But if you plan on seeing them and meeting them for a date, I wouldn't cap about your height. I just wouldn't put it. So, like, if you're like five eight, if you're like five seven, five eight, five nine, honestly, if you're five, if you're below five ten, I wouldn't even put my height. Like, if you're five nine, I wouldn't even put that shit. Honestly, yeah, I, I just I wouldn't even put it. I would just leave it blank. You know what I mean? But um yeah man I think I think um that'll do it yeah man so just follow the things that I said man and you're gonna start seeing way more matches but like I said in the beginning of the video dating apps is trash you're doing all this for some mid bitches it's a waste of time honestly the best places to meet women are in person and on Instagram but hey if you wanna go on Tinder and you wanna fuck these stragglers by all means that's how you do it follow this guide and that should help you man hope y'all like this video man like comment subscribe we out peace.